couple of notes uh, before we do. If you don't mind, if you're able to mute your audio and we'll have time at the end for questions after the presentation. And if you are able at a computer or able to on your phone to put anything in the chat feature of WebEx, you can do that and we can uh, try to look at that at the end. The presentation is being recorded and will be posted on the city's website. So you can view that uh, afterwards or share it with friends and neighbors. So with that, we'll go ahead and, and get started. I'm Mike Crenshaw, the project manager for the design and construction of the West Creek uh, Channel Maintenance. We have uh, others on the call with us here. Um, uh, Justin Naylor is with the City of Fort Worth as well, and he's uh, leading our effort. Uh, Linda Young is our program manager, and she's on the call as well. So there are others that are joining us uh, from the city. So whatever questions that might come up, you can email me or, and I'll have my email and contact information at the last slide, but um, we'll have that available for you as well. And I did get a message that uh, someone else was trying to join and they were having a bit of problems. So um, might have to get in touch with them. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. So this is, this is the uh, West Creek channels. I'll just give a little background on the area. Most of you uh, hopefully got the mailer or saw this in the tweet or the city's website. Uh, this is south of Loop 820 down McCart, near the intersection of McCart and Alta Mesa. Um, there's a couple of channels along there. If, if you live along this area, you're very familiar with these, uh, know where we're at. So we're calling them three channels. It's really uh, one tributary coming across McCart and then uh, one long channel throughout the Mesa. These actually flow from south to north. Uh, and the uh, lowest one along out the Mesa we're calling Edge Cliff. The one coming under McCart we're calling Cross Baker. And the one along Woodmont Trail we're calling West Creek Channel. That's just for our design purposes. So we'll go through some of the needs and some of the uh, work that we're looking at doing. So uh, the first bit is we'll we'll talk about what the needs are. The, the area is, is older. The existing channels uh, have have aged uh, fairly well, but there is and it has become time neat for some needed repairs and maintenance, uh, mainly some of the paving of the side slopes of the channels and the what we're calling the toe which i have a picture of that we'll look at that that's kind of down cutting along a couple of the channels and just overall some general erosion and the channel deterioration that has happened in these three areas so or these areas so i'll have some pictures specifically that address those but just so you have a general idea of where we're at and what we're hoping to accomplish with this project so Let's look first at the West Creek Channel. This is uh, kind of east of, of West Creek Drive and it flows towards the park along Woodmont Trail. And this area is uh, what we would call a trapezoidal channel or the shape of it. It's like a trapezoid and some concrete on the sides, but generally the area underlying geography of the area has a, a limestone bottom. So the, the bottom is fairly stable. It was just a, a channel to uh, convey the flows and, and keep the banks from eroding. And over time, and these are, are many years old, but you can see in this picture and several of these pictures over time that some of that deterioration has taken place in um, the channel you can see on the far left, some of the paving that's in the overbanks and along the, the flow line or the, the bottom of the channel, some sediment has built up over time. but. Uh, potentially here's we're pointing to in the middle some of the bottom where this bank um, paving meets the flow line of the creek there has been some deterioration over time this is what we're calling the toe of that uh, paving that comes down and meets where the water uh, is here in this picture in the creek and so uh, you'll see in some of our proposed repairs that we're coming along and, and fixing 
or connecting the toe back into the underlying bedrock. So this does a couple of things. Of course, the maintenance effort here is to extend the life of this paving to, to stop further erosion and deterioration, as well as to um, uh, make sure that this other pieces of concrete here along the slopes don't uh, continue to deteriorate or get undermined uh, over time. And so that's the, the main effort along West Creek Channel, and that portion extends again from uh, West Creek So welcome, Michael. I, I saw your message, so I'm glad you're able to, to join us here. So this is West Creek Channel along from about east of West Creek up to around the park area. And so those are the main repairs going on through that location. The other segment that we'll talk about is from Alta Mesa uh, north up to uh, West Creek Drive. This section has a few of those tow repairs that we were pointing out um, that we just talked about, a few of those. And another problem along this section is a good stretch of that paving along that bank has actually deteriorated to the point that it, it can't be saved. So we're looking at replacing as uh, minimally, as, as little as we can, but what's needed to be replaced along that bank. And you can see the water again is flowing from south to the north so that it takes a direct hit from that water coming out of, from under Alta Mesa. So that needed to be um, seen too, as well as some of the tow repairs. Uh, this section is unique in that um, it's the only piece that we're hope, or hoping that's the only piece that we have to do these, what we're calling full panel repairs along that paved embankment. Um, you saw several of the other areas where there will be a tow repair. That's at the area where it meets the creek bottom. And so that means the rest of the panel is in pretty good shape. We just need to keep the water from undercutting or getting under those panels along the bank. And so that will, will be a part of this section on Edge Cliff Channel. And... The uh, last little bit, the, the, what we're calling the third channel, that's really uh, coming out from under McCart here. This is from the Cross Baker, uh, Cross Baker Park. Um, water is flowing from left to right across your screen. Um, this area is uh, commercial, as, as many of you know, along McCart. And then there's some um, apartments. And then there's some homes as well. So there's a, a mixed um, use area around this part of the channel, uh, there is an existing uh, uh, maintenance ramp entrance the city has that comes off of West Creek Drive to get to the channel for maintenance, etc. Um, this section or this piece um, has some some different types of repairs and and challenges that that come along with this. It's much more confined. You can see this; it's not as wide as the other parts of the channel. And through this section, the repair types will be a little different. Some of the um, efforts will be to go behind where the channel bank is eroding and, and put a, a curtain wall or a wall underground here that will prevent this uh, flow line along the toe of the channels from continuing to erode back. Some of this is a natural process in the stream that takes place. And so the city will do this to protect the integrity of the channel, keep it from further eroding back, and hopefully stabilize um, the channel over time. And so we are coordinating a number of other elements with this, the floodplain management group, to make sure that we don't have any adverse impacts to floodplain management as well as the water and sewer department as the sewer uh, lines obviously gravity flow through here and many of them are um, in in this area along the creeks as well as tarrant regional water district has some lines through here so we're coordinating with tarrant regional 
Uh, from an environmental standpoint, we also coordinated with the Corps of Engineers to make sure that the, the habitat, the wetlands area, et cetera, are protected and ensured that that there's not a loss of, of wetlands along this these uh, channels. So those are the an overview of the three channel areas that we mentioned. Again, we're looking at uh, this area to the south from Alta Mesa up to West Creek, the area from West Creek up to the West Creek Park crossing here, and then a small section from the Cross Baker Park that comes under McCart flows uh, across here to the other channels. So th that's our that's our general area for this maintenance of the channels. Um, again, we're looking to mitigate some of the erosion. Um, these channels are 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 getting up there in years of age. They've done well, but it's time for some some needed maintenance, and that'll be a quick, again as that concrete paving along some of the slopes, and then that toe or the bottom where the side slope meets the uh, bottom of the channel. So a couple of the uh, milestones, and this is subject to change, but tentatively right now we're on on track to complete our design um, this late this spring, early summer, and to be able to bid, uh, put it out for uh, contractors uh, to bid on. And then we get those bids back, evaluate those bids, uh, select the, the most qualified and contractor and lowest bid, and then hoping to get that to council sometime late summer of 2022, and then uh, anticipate uh, a construction start around fall of, of 2022. Again, that's all subject to change, but that's our, our tentative uh, schedule now in anywhere from 18 to 24 months on construction. That depends on the weather, uh, the winter, how harsh or mild the winter may be, and how wet our spring may be. Because this is in work in the and along the bottom bottom part of these channels, it doesn't take much rain to to cost us a day or two of work. So um, that's why we have a kind of a a large gap there between the when we start and when we finish. We have to allow for for the work conditions, especially when we're in here along the bottom of the channels. Um, this is funded through the stormwater revenue bond, and right now the construction estimates that we have to date are in about the $4 million range. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that will be, um, again, determined later this summer when we actually put it out to bid and, and open those bids and look to selecting a contractor. So that is the... Uh, channel maintenance that we're looking at along here. Again, we're about midway through, so we're about 60% now, and hopefully we can move along here pretty quick to our 90% and final design. Um, and we just wanted to give everyone an update, an opportunity to see the project, to see what's coming, and to ask questions. So at this time, that's all I have to present. And here's my contact information, and this is my cell phone number. You can take that down, email address. You can feel free to email me. We will also, again, as we said, have, this is being recorded, so we'll have it up on the city's website for others to view and for you to share and watch afterwards. There will be, I uh, should say, there will be future uh, meetings coming up as well uh, as we get closer to construction and then before we actually go into construction that have uh, details on it. So at this time, I know we have a couple of call-in users um, and you can unmute yourself if you want or if you're muted or if you're not. And I think it shows on the screen as call-in user two. I don't know if you have any questions. If you do, you can ask now. I didn't see anything pop up in the chat. Hey, Mike, I got a question. Okay. Okay. Um, just going off the mailing I received last week, uh, it shows, you know, I don't, it shows certain things are highlighted. Is it just the things that are in red that you're 
primarily wanting to work on? Correct. Those highlighted areas, um, there's different pieces and parts through that. Some of the channel is good and in good shape and some of it needs attention. Okay. And so we, and you'll be able to download uh, this, this recording later for a closer look and you can pause it. But each of these images here, we kind of show the area highlighted where the, the deterioration is either undercutting, getting under that existing side slope paving and needs uh, replacement or uh, in this case where these panels along, this is just north of Alta Mesa Boulevard, where these panels, uh, the whole panel had already eroded too far underneath and we couldn't save the panels. So we have to go back and, and repave the whole panel. But the rest of these, we're hoping just to, to be able to get in it and do uh, what we call the toe repair. Yeah. And just to make sure it doesn't uh, further erode that um, paving along the sides and the banks of the channel. Okay, I, I have a question that might be a little bit outside of the scope of this project, and maybe it's just best if I just call you. Some, you know, for about a year now, I've been thinking about, you know, find out who, finding out who to call about something, and uh, but you know, it has something to do with that. Um, you know, I don't uh, South Hills Walgreens area. There's a just a little thing that strips through, cuts through Shasta cuts through Jenny and then connects to that bigger stretch that you guys looks like you're going to be doing some work on. And um, so would you recommend I just call you maybe another time and. Add yeah, um, sure. Uh, Justin and I can, uh, I think you're talking about right through here. You're exactly. Yeah, yeah sure. No. Um, yeah. Justin Naylor and myself can, yeah. you can email me or text me your email address. Okay. And, uh, and I'll set something up with you. Yeah, it was one of those things you guys did somewhere. I mean, I, I'm going to guess 10 years ago, you guys did that Gideon mattress or whatever they call it. Uh -huh. And everything's good. It just changed the, um, it changed the landscape of, I'm right on that creek, you know. So it kind of changed the landscape where it's a little more, I'm getting older <laughs> and it's getting <laughs> kind of, dip, I like to keep my uh, easement trimmed and, you know, groomed and all that. Where maybe others don't, but uh, just kind of like wanted to ask you, probably going to be more uh, advice than it is asking the city to actually do anything. But um, anyway, so I'll go ahead and I'll text you my email address and we'll we'll just set something up. It would be something where I would, where I, I would hope one of you guys can come out here and I can just kind of walk it with you a little bit. Sure. Okay. Yeah. That'd okay. Be fine. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. Take care. Sure. Hello. I have a question. Uh Sure. Hi, I, I understand, you know, the maintenance is going to be due to the deterioration and the erosion and all that. My home is on Jenny. It backs up to that creek. So when the repairing and all of that begins um, for those drainage channels, is there any concern that I should have about flooding if there's heavy rain uh, or anything like that? And I, I'm not sure if I can even answer that question, but that's my only concern. Sure. No, um, this a uh, couple things we've, we've done, uh, the city requires, uh, that we do some analysis to make sure that nothing we do has any kind of increases or adverse impacts, um, on any properties there, but also, as you pointed out during construction is to, uh, the contractor will obviously will, you know, they, they regularly pull their equipment outside of the channel and not leave large piles of debris, et cetera, um, in the channel. That's kind of part of their work uh, uh, processes. Um, so they won't be like piling up large amounts of material and then leaving it in the bottom of the channel because that could have, like you say, uh, temporary impacts. Um, and so they've got some staging areas outside of the channel for each section as well as uh, for each segment of uh, the construction areas. And then, you know, we'll have some specific guidelines for them during construction. Uh, and obviously they wouldn't leave equipment down there because because most of our rains come at night, right? So they, and then obviously during that wet season, it'll be only able to work as they're able to get into the channel and do the work, so. 
Okay, great. Thank you. Sure. And and we'll have another meeting. Like I said, we'll have a, a probably a couple more meetings on this as we get ready to go to work and then as we actually get started working. Um, and so you'll have not only our contact information, but then even as it goes to construction, there will be a, a city inspector on the job and uh, his his information will be available as well. So. All right, thank you. That's good questions. Um, let's see any. Any other questions that. We should cover our meeting. Okay. Well, we are sixty percent, so we're still some days out here from from having final plans and and then again being able to to actually advertise it to bid and getting contractors uh, interested in it. So we'll, we'll we're available. Let me go back to my contact information. If you have any uh, questions. You can call or text or email me and we'll get a response and get or get in contact with anyone that that needs we need to. And the recording or excuse me, the the presentation has been recorded, so that will be available uh, on the city's website. We will also get a page set up for this project so you can search. Uh, I believe Jeff said we could search West Creek and that should pull it up and that will will take you to a link to watch this recording uh, afterwards and you can share that link with other neighbors and folks that you'd like to to watch it. And then of course we're available uh, via email or call we can be in contact. If there's no other questions. Don't see any. I think that about concludes it for this evening. Thank you all for attending. Have a good evening.